got another one coming in. Must be. I don't know why. Charlie Echo Zulu, from my right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, from my right, Charlie Echo Zulu. Bravo Lima Echo, clear the main path, thanks for your help. Bravo Lima Echo, good day. Seven hundred looks good. <laughs> you take off. I got it. Good. Climbing well today. Right, flaps are up, power is full, fuel pump's still on, temperatures and pressures look good. Oh. Very quiet today. <laughs> For me, it's the opposite. Is it? It's so loud with these with the sets. Oh, that, yeah. no, I just mean nobody's on the radio. Oh, okay. Yeah, it must be loud. Sorry, I'll try to keep my voice down. No, no, it's uh, the engine sounds really loud to me. Oh, does it, it? The engine is fine. It's just my headset. It's different, of course, yeah. But it does sound all very different to me. Just a little bit. Yeah, good. A little bit to the left. Pump off a Warwick Farm. Yep. Hey, good day, Oscar Papa Kilo. There he is. Now's your chance to say Godspeed. Oscar Papa Kilo, Joe. Oscar Papa Kilo, holding point Alpha A, two nine are right, ready. Uh, require about twenty minutes overhead of fifteen hundred feet. Oscar Papa Kilo, report maintaining one thousand. Yeah, take it back now a little bit. Depart upwind until advised. From my right, clear for takeoff. Report at maintaining one thousand five hundred. Upwind till advised. From my right, clear takeoff. Oscar Papa Kilo. All right, right center left. Bank Town Tower, Cherokee November Romeo Mike at Prospect, one thousand five hundred feet. Receive Charlie inbound. November Romeo Mike, Bankstown Tower, join downwind runway 290 right, maintain 1,500. Joining for runway uh, 290 right, maintain yeah. 1,500 feet, uh, November Romeo Mike. Here. Yeah, a little bit hazy, huh? Smoky, I yeah, guess. but it's just there. Yeah, that, it's the way we're going yeah, looks yeah, absolutely fine. Two, That's good to, good to see. Alpha 829, right. Crosswind departure, ready. Chilliot Lima, Echo Banks Town Tower. Runway right, clear for takeoff. Runway right, clear for takeoff. Juliet Lima, Echo. He made it. <laughs> as long as it glides, he should be okay. <laughs> Operate overhead the southern circuit at 1,500. When ready, make a left turn. Overhead southern circuit, 1,500 left turn. Oscar You want to say it? <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. Okay, too late. <laughs> thanks, Danny. I was doing 8880, holding point 506, runway 29 center, ready for crosswind departure. Eddie Bankstown Tower, traffic A disregard. Line up runway center. Lining up runway center, swing at Eddie. Eddie. Uh, 
Uh, airspeed. Uh, it's, oh, there it it's goes. Okay. Good enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Swing A8. AD traffic assessor on upwind, also departing to the north. Runway center clear for takeoff. Traffic center, runway center clear for takeoff. Swing at it. And have a look in the front. So nose up a little bit. Yeah, I just don't want to go above 2500. Yeah. Uh, this is a little bit wrong. Sorry. All right. Yeah, uh, where are we? There's Brinjelli. Uh, I believe. I see the intersection, yeah. Definitely have a wind. And by the way, then we stay at 2,500. Okay, stay at 225, okay. All right, I'll get this all trimmed and then have a look at my plan. Oh, and uh, time to switch. Uh, Com2, my that one, yep. yep. Turn off this one. Good. Okay. There's Brinjelli. Rougher today than last flight. All right. So Brinjelli, we're turning for Crookwell. We want a uh, heading of 229. Yeah, so shim a little bit to yeah. the forward. Yeah, please. sorry about that. Get it down. Two nine next. Trim a little bit further forward. Two two nine. Feels like we're barely moving. I know. It doesn't feel like that. I mean, I guess maybe I'm used to 130 and the difference is significant. I don't know. But it feels slow. Yeah, it, it does. Well, headwind. No, I understand. But uh, oh. we got 100 knots. We're moving 100 okay. miles an hour, but it feels slow. Okay. Well, we're usually about 130 almost. Exactly. So. so whatever that percentage is. Yeah. Quarter difference. More. Less. Less than a quarter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can do maths. All right. Yes, thank you. Two two nine next, I'll put that in. We're almost going two two nine. Yeah, not great over there, huh? I hope it doesn't come, come over to Bankstown by the time we get back. We'll be fine. We got plenty of fuel, hey? Yeah. I hear Wollongong is beautiful. Alright, here we are in Brinjelli at uh, time 27. So I'm going to turn for 229. Not far. Good. November zero kilo, contact Melbourne Center 129. So it was time 27 at Brinjelli. Which uh, means 2 1 at Bankstown. Okay, thank you. Fine. I understand. Um, I'm going too high though. Try to keep it at 2,500.
Uh, the engine looks relatively happy, yep. Altitude, we decided we're going to stay at 2.5. Radio, we need to switch at the one-third point. We're not there yet. Orientation, well, I know which direction we're pointing. Um, I, I should check my map for that one. Hang on a moment. Get back on heading. Uh, yeah, just relax. Eventually, you should get your whack out. Yeah. I know where we're going right now, that's yeah. fine. You know, there's Mayfield, there's yeah. Camden. Yeah. Orientation is fine. Four Gambas over there, yeah. yeah. Orientation's fine, I agree. Uh, future times I'll do in a moment. I'm going to write in the fuel fuel times. I said 2-1 uh, at Bankstown. Try to trim this a little bit better. So we got 2 one Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's fine. That's, that's <laughs> sorry. Not funny. I'm right. I'm joking, but no, you know what? You're right. It's a good point. Make it's you're overloading your brain if you do all these. I know you're good with numbers. Yeah, it's a good point. I round, understand. Round, relax, round. All right. All right, I will round. Good. Okay. Now, future times was the next thing. So, uh, if we left at 27 plus 39 is 4606 is the ETA at Kirkwell. Did I do that right? 30, yep, that's right. Uh, a little bit bouncy, all right. And? So? Wow, I don't want to dive. All right. From Brinjelli. The segment time is 13 minutes plus 2-1. Why, are, why am I climbing? Am I pulling back? Might be thermals. Just trim it down a bit. Yeah. So here, with the altitude, I don't want you to round. So I I mean, just you want two stay five. at 2.5 if you can. And if you notice you're off, yeah, I know you're trying. Yeah. It's fine. I probably yeah. wouldn't do a bit better. Okay. But Let me try, just try, that. try harder. Yeah. I'll try harder, yes. I'll do it right instead of wrong. Get yeah. back on heading. Good. Right, we said it's a 13 minute segment from 2 1. It's 3 4. And of course, there's a 1 6 points as well, but I'm not going to do those yet. If, I, if at all, 3 4 and 4 7 are the future times to Kirkwell. A little bit high. Yeah, Victor, uh, starting to get a bit of cloud in this area. Is the Central Coast map available yet? I'm happy to hold uh, at a train if required. Hang on, Victor, stand by. Okay, try to keep it there, trim forward a little bit. It feels like we're descending, but we're not. Well, <laughs> it's funny, there must be a thermal here. I think there's a thermal. I'm going to blame it on the thermal anyway. Now, it's a mountain wave. Uh, could be going, going something up. to watch out for, hey. All right. Anyway, but still relax, so it works the same. You just pick a feature yep. in front of you when you're yeah, at your heading. The high peak up there, a little and bit left. Fly side. towards that. And okay. Just, yeah. Thank you. I'm just conscious how close the ground is, that's all. Oh, it will get worse. I know it will. All right. So, on the way out here, we said we want the oaks a beam on the left. And there's the Oaks, the town, and I guess the air... Oh, I see the airstrip now, yeah. Right down the runway. Right down the runway. Look. Okay. So, so and if you look at your map, is it about the right distance? I got it. That would be, I mean, what, I, two three, miles? Three, I would say, yeah. I, it's about the right distance. I, I can't get much closer than that. Uh, at 3-2, we were there. How am I doing on height? So, beyond that, we're doing... Continuous navigation. We're gonna want to go to the right of the main lake there, and be on the. Uh, and so I assume yeah. that lake is there, where the where the uh, the land falls off. Yeah. There's the other side of it. Yeah. And I'll get back to two five.
but don't look continuously at your map. Sure. Look so out the window. It's really, look out of the window. You know, I was just uh, you know it's so clear area today. Is, yeah. <laughs> You're going 2-3-C, you know that big mountain there. Basically, if you keep that picture, yeah. there's nope. nothing you have to do. Okay, I'm going to try to do that then. But, so just relax. and Keep the altitude. So don't look at the map too often. I agree. Now, we, we are quite late though, because I, I said it should be... Oh, I calculated from the wrong point, that's why. It should be 4-0, not 3-4. Fix that. Four zero and two three. That's why. How many minutes do we have in between the checkpoints? Thirteen. Is it five? Th Thirteen. One really? three. That's what one, I calculated from the wind one, forecast. To the one six point? No, 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 no. Sorry, that's to the one third point. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, six about. Yeah. yeah. So we expect the next one at four zero. Five zero. Yep. It really feels like it wants to be nose low to stay at the height. Yeah. I guess that's the thermal. But eventually we should get out of it. I think so, yeah. Anyway, if you see any significant features well, yeah, sure. like... Of course, like that. Yeah. Um, Maybe too early to check the shape of the lake, but there is a quarry yeah. there and there is a black cross. Yeah, I saw that on the map. Yeah, okay. Um, so and I think we're a little know bit... how far is yeah. my track. So really, If really... that's the quarry, then we're too far right, because the track was supposed to be to the left of it by about a mile. Um, okay. Have I done that wrong? I mean, I was off track to the, I was off heading to the right for a while. But, uh, I mean, we should be able to find that major part of the lake. Yeah, that, that's the quarry, and we are a little bit right of track, uh, so I'm going to turn right. Go left. Yeah. I mean, turn left, yeah. So now we are flying straight along the lake. Can you, yeah. is that? That's about right. I yeah. mean, we're supposed okay. to be to the right edge of the lake, okay. so I'll steer for the right. So really look in the landscape and try to visualize your track okay. along the landscape, yep. where at the lake it should yep. cut. I see it. It's supposed to cut really? this way. Okay. Yep. So now you can intercept your track and then you That's don't have I'll to do. correct much. Yep. Okay. And then you're doing the right thing, go in that dip there. Yes, yes. For the for the terrain, you mean? For the terrain, yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's a quarry. All right, well, I see where my point is supposed to be. Right up there, so I'll just fly to that. I like flying low. It's you fun, see, yeah. You almost imagine the koalas and the trees. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. Imagine the koalas, I like that. Okay, so it's the second offshoot as it turns. Yeah, okay. I see it. See a nice... So you should be able to see this arm on your map. The what? Oh, this yeah. This arm on yeah, the yeah, map? Yeah. yeah, okay. I see where I'm going. It's uh, right. right up there. The lake is easy. I wish everything were, as, were, were like the lake. Tango Alpha Victor, we're still just uh, chasing up that central coast map. Do you know what the number was? Uh, central coast 10 and run 1 to 4, just the southern half. And uh, so this run 1 1. Tango Alpha Victor. Tango Alpha Victor. Now, I have to ask you, if we lose the engine here, what are we doing? We need to ditch. Ditch in the water. What? And that's gear in, I assume. Gear in. And slow as possible? Or? Yes. Yeah, okay. We would be into wind anyway. And okay. so, yeah, we, we stay as close as we can to the land, but not yeah. hitting any rocks with so the, the wind. The water is pre preferable to the trees? Yes. Yeah, okay.
So here, my left hand is pretty twitchy. If there is any cough. Yeah, yeah I see. So I, I yeah, am on prepared, <laughs> and so it is very unlikely that it would, will just cut off immediately. Of course. And, and stay off. So if it shows sign of trouble, we're, we're trying any to get heights or uh, on. pump on and then yeah. trying to get heights or what? Yeah. Okay. Good one. Yeah. However, I, re I really can't see anything here except for the water. Yeah, I um, mean, yeah. So that, then There's that clear would, place at Tomat Creek up there, but then uh, you have to go over no, the trees. No, that's high ground. No. Yeah. Okay, so it depends. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So if it would just if completely cut here, I would really put the nose down and go for the water. Okay. Because I can't see any openings here. I think it's about that hill up there. That's where I'm steering for. Yeah. So eventually we, we do need to climb, but but not yet. Okay, I'll leave it for now. I'm just trying to stay at 2.5. And so that make sure you, we're absolutely on track here, because as you know, the next it's checkpoint gonna be harder. is harder. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I believe it's that hill from, from what okay. I'm seeing on the map. So I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. use that. Yeah. Just checking on the engine. A little bit high, but not much. Right. And we're going to switch the radio here, and it becomes one two one decimal two next. So I'll just go ahead and do that. One two one decimal two. And back on 229, in fact, I'm, or 230, excuse me, and I'm already steering that. I suppose we were off track before, but I didn't, I didn't properly correct for that. I think it's really not that important to do the one in 60s. I, I feel the same, so uh, I'm glad you agree. Because the wind changes anyway, it's more uh, important ground, that you take yeah. the time yeah. and, and you fix your position. Yep. All right, so... Here's the hill we're coming up under right, it's under us now, we'll call that time 4-1. So we were there at 4-1, uh, so that was one minute late, we expect 2-5 for the next one. And an extra two minutes here, so that's 0-8, no sorry, 0-9, three minutes. All right. Right, Leo, I think now it's time to climb. Okay, let's climb a bit. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 yeah. Sorry, mixture, prop. How much are we going to climb? I don't know. Okay. Just until we can see over the hill. All right. And it stops being quite as bumpy. Okay. So the orientation is right. We got the uh, the lake behind us. Yeah, that long valley out there. Long valley out there, yes. And can you see there's a curvature I can. in the landscape? I can, and I suppose that's the next river over. Yeah, there's yeah. river, creek, so relax. That's the orientation. And main thing is, well, try to, to find something on the horizon that you steer yeah, towards. Yeah, there's not a lot, but there's this hill but, for so a while. So just try to keep yeah. that picture and it becomes bigger and then... Yep, you adjust. Okay, three and a half. Uh, let's try three and a half. All right, let's do that. Two, three, a little bit higher. No, trim it better. Uh, 2.4. Come on. Don't want to be too trigger happy with the mixture right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm diving again. 
Ah, you're not driving. Well, it's okay. We're three and a half. It's fine. Three and a half. Still a little bit rough. All right. Compass. That's right. Uh, I've done the log. Engine I just did. It looks looks good. Altitude, we're going to say three and a half. And let me set that so I remember. Radio is not time to change yet. Uh, orientation we already talked about. Uh, future times I've done. And fuel, it's at five zero. Okay. So... As soon as I get this aviating properly, I'm going to have another look at the map. There's that notch in the hill. I'm a little bit too far right. Okay. All right, so, yeah, we expect to be coming up over a river, which is probably this one turning, to, turning that way. So I think that's approximately right. Um, and then our 1-6 point is beyond that, over Tomac Creek, just before another river. Uh, we got the valley off to the left there. That looks right. Um, what else do I see around here? We see the high ground. I'm not as good at that as Doug is, but there's supposed uh, to be some high bits there. You see some darker brown Yeah, I do see there. it. I do see it. And so that seems about right. So I think we're probably about here-ish. Um, yeah, okay, then sit back. That's relax, good enough for me for now. Fly the plane. And what time did we expect for that? It was six minutes beyond 4-1, so 4-7. I think that's one of those cleared areas I saw in the satellite view. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming up over the river now. Sorry, I've climbed. I feel like that's the northern one, which was bigger, but I don't know for sure. If so... Whoa. Sorry. That's okay. Stay at 3,700. Right thank you. <laughs> no, that's probably the northern cleared one. In which case, this is Tomac Creek, and we're exactly where we should be. Just let's assume that for now. I'm going to assume that for now. It's just six dust, and I'm going to keep flying this direction. I climbed a little bit more. It's, it's okay, actually. Yeah. yeah. Go down. Beautiful Tomac Creek. Yeah, there are actually some houses. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Tomac Creek. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're right on track. Yeah, good. Well, um, and uh, you're holding your heading and... Yeah. The straight head wins. Yeah, true. Good point. All right. It does feel quite a bit different at this height. <laughs> yeah. But fun. It is fun. I like but, it. You can yeah. see better. Well, you can see the things that are close better. Yeah. So, passing the left to Tomac Creek as expected. I'm going to just pinpoint that because why not? That's a good place. And we're a few minutes late. Four or seven there. Not going to dive into the trees, though. Yeah, so you need to look up very often, yeah. obviously. I'll remind you. <laughs> no, but I should practice that, yes. Try to I'll hold that. divide your attention, but it's really well trimmed. Yeah, I'm climbing a little bit, but I'll keep it. Really? Fine. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah. 3,700 is okay. All right. So, I'll keep holding the heading. I need a new feature on the horizon. There's not a lot on the horizon, but I got the picture. Oh, <laughs> that's scary. Well, it's working. It's working, actually, that's good, yeah. Uh, yeah, the engine looks good. Radio is not till the next segment. The orientation, Tomac Creek behind us with these uh, the extra river in front of us, that seems about right. The bigger picture, we've got the valley up here, yep, that's, that's on our right.
and it's close enough for fuel, I think. So uh, I'm going to turn on the pump. Actually, is this a poor place to do it? I would actually, yeah, let's, let's wait. Let's delay it. Delay it a few minutes, all right. Yeah. I don't want to tempt fate. So now you should really see that deep creek there. Yeah, yeah. That the Wollondilly River. Yeah, coming around to the right. That, that looks right. And uh, ahead of us, we are going to be looking for the Taralga wind farms on the left. Some roads and power lines crossing under once we get well ahead of this river. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to take away the map because yep. it's easy. Yep, there's the wind farm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. When do you want to do the fuel? Maybe when we. Well, this is yeah, too bumpy. Yeah, when we are over the clear. This isn't. This is probably too much terrain for. The count is clear. Hey. I think we. Just wait. We would survive. Up to you, Aaron. Some people only change every one hour, but I think the half hour is good to. To get a rhythm that, for that? Yeah, yeah. Because if you forget it then after an hour, then yeah. it's not good. Yeah. I would be comfortable enough to do it All here. Right, let's do it here. Yeah, fuel pump on and fuel pump I on. promise I'll be quick. <laughs> Alright, I'm watching the flow rate. Gonna go right quickly. Flow rate looks good. Alright. Fuel pump off. And we'll check the levels after I trim again. Yeah, and Got some. check the fuel pressure and the fuel flow. Looks good, good yeah. All right, just stay at 4,000. All right, it's stay at 4,000, sure. We can see where we're going already anyway. When we're past those ranges, then we'll descend again. Sounds good. Stay at 4,000, that makes it easy. Um, fuel I won't number. tell Doug. <laughs> Apparently, Pete told me that Doug did the low level with him yeah. and the uh, report at the end said he kept climbing to 700 <laughs> base AGL. <laughs> yeah, Doug has high standards. It's good that Doug has high standards, but yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, well, this is all over the place, but 2.8 I'm going to say and 1.8. So 2.8 on the left. Oh, okay. 2.8, uh, 30 on the left. So I would make that 1.10. 1.10 for the left, and how about the right? Uh, oh, sorry, one eight, one 8 to the right. Uh, what is it, 25? Okay. 20. No, no, on the right, it should oh, be on the right. One, 1 8. Uh, it's, what 10, is 20. it, it's 18? 16, is maybe. It? Uh, 18, maybe 80? 88. 80, yeah, so okay. 110 and 80, 190, 190 minus, minus 20, 170. 170. All right, I like it. Let me trim a little bit, and... Looking out the window, not yet in the trees. Yep. 170 at 30 minutes is here. Okay. Okay, so far that's really good. This is fun. Good. So far. <laughs> uh, I think that's the difficult part. What? Oh, the, the back there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Over the hills. I think on the way to the reservoir, it looked pretty hard. Uh, uh, maybe not. We'll that's see. easy. Is it? Okay. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? The next time we expect was 2-5, uh, although I didn't correct for being behind back there. Uh, but anyway. Oh, that's not right. I've misread what I wrote. 4-7. God, I don't know what I did. Okay, hang on a minute. I still see the big picture, I'm happy with that, and I'll figure yes. out what my error was. Well, moment. it's mostly about visualizing our route past yeah. Taralga. Yeah. All right, let's do that then. The next one is just before Taralga with the wind farms on the left. So, you know, up there somewhere. I think we're a little bit to the right of track, but not terribly far. We'll fix um, it next to Taralga, I think. Okay, let's, let's do that then. Is that quarry? It, it might not be on the map. Let's Probably see. not. That's a good question. The caves are on Anything? the map. Um, power lines, maybe. Well, yeah, is the, the power, power, lines are power line maybe meeting a river somewhere? There's or? a power line gap, and I wonder if that's that. 
Yeah, there's a gap in the yeah. power line, I All think. Right. All right, let's go to the back to the track then. It goes right by that gap. Okay. Yeah. But so you can also see Taralga now. I can see Taralga, So yes. you know you probably have to be to the right of Taralga? Yeah, or to the right by yeah. a few miles. Okay. So I'm confused. This is what I was talking about last time with the WAC. On the WAC, the wind farms, they should be about the same distance from us as Taralga. But yeah. in real life, they look further to that to yeah. the left. But I think now we are probably on the left of track. Yes, I think you're right. Maybe there's another gap in the power line. Yeah, okay. Forget, so the, that's a forget small, the gap. That's a very small feature. So there's definitely, Taralga. if yeah. you have something like Taralga, yeah. I'll use, use that. that. And you know what two miles are. or. Yeah, I think it's about two, two miles right of Taralga. Oh, no, sorry, more than that. Uh, let's say really? three well, or four miles. Pen. Yeah, I'll use pencil. Let's see. So that white, yep. white thing is one mile? Three miles, I'm calling it. Okay. So we are left of track, I agree. Because that's Taralga. if this cleared area is on here. What so at the moment we're intercepting that track, yeah. obviously you can't uh, keep no, it. No, 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 I'm trying to yeah, intercept. Okay. Yeah. I think a little bit further. And then 230. Sorry, I've, I've climbed again, but... It's okay. It's okay. I don't want more bumps. It's fine. Yeah. It is as long as you understand, but usually if it's short or clouds, uh, yeah. when it, it's calmer, but it gets really hazy. So right. it gets gotta... more difficult in terms of low flying because it's all hazy and you yeah. can't see, like, uh, I don't know, yeah, 40 kilometers. Yeah, it's pretty easy right now to see. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, well, anyway, wouldn't call it that easy. But anyway, we... Why, with the winds coming from there, well, I guess it bounces off and then it makes yeah. that thing. Should get better once we get up yeah. here, right? I think we're over it. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of a ridge coming. All right, so on the way into Crookwell, we're going to expect more wind farms off to the left. Might be them, but that's not the right direction. I think those are farther away. Um, and the, the roads and the rivers. Hang on. Should, should I descend? Would you like me to descend? What? Would you like me to descend? Oh. Yes, please, yeah. Okay. And at one point I'll change my headset because um, it's almost no noise cancellation. Oh, uh, yeah. If you're okay, I think now the I'm bumps okay. are over, yeah. so... So yeah, descend until you can't see the wind farm in the, in the distance. <laughs> right there. Too, too easy. Honestly, there's so many wind farms over there. I'm not 100% sure which it is anyway. All right, you happy with this height? Oh, sorry. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, now I can hear you. Is this is this height okay with you? Yes. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit below circuit height. That's what we want. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we got another township. Uh, uh, yeah, is that so Taralga? Aaron. Uh, yeah. What yep. else would it be? It's Taralga. Is there any other township that size? No, those? that's Taralga. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So we had identified it with the wind farms. All good? Yeah. And so if you think you've got the right distance, then go back on yeah. your heading. I think it's close enough anyway. Um, and we are beam Taralga right now. Five, seven. Okay, so beam Taralga across the road going into Taralga, and then there should be two roads converging on our right up ahead that we fly mostly over. Too easy. 
but you're dealing well with the bumps. There's one road, I don't know if uh, which way it is to come in. There's like a T-junction. It's hard to tell because like, they only put the big roads on the map. Yeah. Uh, What else is there to look at? Uh, uh, another intersection with the road, that might be that one. Go to the second road over there. Water. Aaron, put the map away. All now. right, all right, all right. Stop stressing. Okay, just hold your heading. Yeah, it looks good because I'm... Sure. Uh, with Cookwell Bay. The wind farms there, yeah. Okay, I'll put away enjoy, the, right, enjoy right. the ride. If you see anything significant, like a big turn in a road okay. or whatever, yep. then confirm that in the map so you learn how to interpret the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. It's pretty here. I yep. like it. Yes. Seems calm. And so we're starting to get it a little bit brownish now. In yeah. a few weeks now without rain. Yeah. After all this rain. I will have a look at what the next heading is. Yeah. Zero eight six. I'll put that in now. I can remember 230. So uh, you want me to yeah, run? Yeah, we need to do... Wait, we go to oh, Pickwell go and then we do a precaution oh, search and landing there. Yeah, no. and I've forgotten it's the call. Late. Hang on. Is it time to do the call? 10 uh, miles. You tell me. 10 miles from Kirkwell. Sorry, I forgot about that. Let's see. It's about there. So there you I, could, that road should be yeah, on the map. I think that's the road I was looking for and there's a T-junction. So yeah, it's about time to do the call. All right, so uh, we'll go on to yeah, COM1 and, and switch that. Yeah. Uh, and we want uh, 10 miles to the northeast. Ideally, yeah. one zero miles, yeah. But one more. zero miles, thank you. Okay, Top hang on. East is good, yeah. yeah. So, Kirkwell traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is one zero miles to the northeast uh, at oh, uh, 4,100 feet inbound for air work, uh, Kirkwell. Yeah, it uh, was not, above 3, not above 3,500. Not above 3,500. Estimate circuit at, uh, what time is it? Five minutes from now, so 06. Okay, or whatever. Well, you should have calculated that in your future. I did. Oh, I said 08 in the end. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to say that. Yep, good. All right, are we on frequency? We are. Okay. Don't want to lose my heading. Crookwell traffic, uh, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is uh, one zero miles to the northeast at 4,200 feet. Inbound for air work, not above 3,500 feet. Uh, estimate arrival at zero 08, Crookwell. Very good. Could you, are they synchronized? Because at Crookwell, I yeah. would like to have the same reading. Yeah, 4,340, yeah, okay. that's close, yep. I really struggled to, yep. I mean, I can see we're 4,000 something on no, the aspect, No problem. But, okay. Would you like me to descend? Yes, please. Okay. We should still listen to center, huh? Yeah, we can. But if they talk, then we switch them off. Sure. Okay. It's very unlikely Unless they that, call us. that they would call us here. Yeah. Uh, so maybe Mark can tell you his story from yesterday. It was interesting. Okay. So coming into Kirkwell, Expect the township on the right and the uh, aerodrome beyond it to the south. Uh, and I know it's about east to west, so just to help myself orient. Yeah, okay. Maybe 2 8 for magnetic. Alright, it should be something like that. Back a little bit. Oh no, that's not right. Sorry, about there. Two, three, two, four. Yep. Yeah. Like 
Probably the township up there. One, two, five, decimal two, torch I know there's also Lagan, but uh, it's pretty okay. small, I think. So is that how, how your track goes? It should be on the left? Oh, on the left of the township, yeah. Two the south inbound, passing through 9,400 on the scent. Tracking for a straight in, five mile final, runway three. The wind farms to the left. Uh, More wind farms up here. The airstrip's supposed to be among the wind farms up there, so this looks right below the wind farm, so... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there, there's the Gullum ranges yes. where the wind farms are, and definitely so the airstrip is uh, not it. on top, it, yes. it's on this side. Yep. So at Crookwell, um, there's yeah, a, if you want a road coming up from the south. Uh, so it, yeah, exactly. So we are looking for a road out of Crookwell. Yep, down to the south. And the end of the runway. Yep. Is at the road. And I believe the private strip is the northern one, the one closer to town. No? That's really? No, the I private the private one is yeah, the northern one. Really? Okay, I remember it the other way around. Oh, I okay. could be wrong. No, <laughs> don't. How can we tell? That's the problem. Ah, oh, it's easy. There are gable markers. At the gable markers. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. You told me that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm just going to keep going up. until I see this road. Um, yeah, just hold your heading and trust it, because at this altitude it is hard to okay. find. Okay, alright. Ideally it will just pop up, if not you know what to do. Yeah. What do you do if you can't find it straight away? Oh, I, I mean I could climb and go to Crookwell and that makes it easier. No, so, <laughs> <laughs> no what we, we assume that there is a cloud layer. Okay, sure. Uh, but I can still see Crookwell. 4,200, so what do you do if you're unsure of your position, if you can't find something? What's your first reaction? Well, I find a major a major feature. Uh, ah. No? Okay, what, what do you mean? First reaction. First reaction. First reaction. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, sorry. That's the first thing that we teach with the loss procedure. Oh, uh, well, have a, have a look at the last known position. And no, that's ah. not right either. Have you noticed when you slow down how much calmer things are? Oh, I see what so you mean. First thing, slow down back. and look at Crookwell. Okay, yeah. all right, I see. Thank you. Yes, so first thing, if we can't find Crookwell straight away, yeah. we slow down. Um, and then, yeah, we'll try yep. some ground to map reading. So there's sure. a road. There's a road. I don't know so if this is the road. There's several roads, yeah. So that goes into Crookwell, and it should be a road out of Crookwell. Yeah. I mean, there's more than one road coming out. I don't know if this one's the one going south. It might yeah, be. Yeah, so don't stress yet. Just yeah. keep going, you're heading. Uh, yep. I'm not on my heading. Anyway, there's Crookwell, so I know we're not lost. And our track is how many miles to the, uh, what's that? To the left. To the left, thank uh, you. Some yeah, it was a, uh, a mile or two, so yeah, yeah we're, we're a little bit yeah. close to Crookwell. Okay, well, but, um, corrected. Yeah. Um, yeah, hold your heading, hold your heading. Anyway, this is too easy. Anyway, I think there's probably this is the road is probably up here, but I don't yet see the aerodrome. I think you yeah, probably do. Just, just look outside, a little bit left and a little oh, yeah. bit right. Oh yeah, there's there's a yeah. Okay, it's too easy. So it can be really hard to find, but see if if you hold your heading and use. Yep. Easy. Okay. Then so well we'll be runway two seven. I right. Guess. So this is probably the private one, and that's the public one. Is that correct? I still can't see the private one. I see a, a sure. little yes, yeah, building. Yeah, 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 yeah. So definitely the one with the gale markers. That's what we're going so, for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just to be clear, it's that one with the white markers. With yeah. the gale markers. That's good one. Yeah. Okay. I understand now. Okay. So uh, I'm going to join crosswind and say that I'm joining it. Well. Yeah, and we need to descend. Let's descend. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we really want to do this at 500 AGL, which is very low. And, and so I'm going to get the power to, yeah, back. Thank you, please. Yeah. In fact, I'll get it and pretty far back. And eventually less, so we can set a stage of flat, but yep. only set a stage of flat when we have leveled off. Of course, and at right, a good speed. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go 3,500, which I think is what we decided earlier. Uh-huh. We got uh, wind coming. There is a bit of a crosswind from the left. Okay. Alright. 
3,500. So now Get in. Tw 20, so don't undershoot. So I need to put in yep. power. Oh, I was going to try to slow down for the flap. Okay. But we are slow, and so if you set the flap now, then... That's all right. Uh, are we, we're, uh, we're a little bit... I'm worried about the, the flap range. Okay, okay there, that's fine. Just, just pull the nose up a little bit. Okay, yep. Pull the nose up. Okay. Flap. And then, and then yeah, turn. Sorry. I turn here, so don't go too close to the... Of course. 3,600. All right. And then, so Let's first... Turn this off. First okay. task is trim, trim, trim. Trim, trim, trim. All right. Aviate, navigate, um, communicate. For 2,000. Okay, I'm gonna call. If you want to, but don't do too many to this call. Okay, I won't do it then. That's fine. All right, there's the the airstrip. 3,500. We're clearly being blown from the right, so I'm gonna try to correct for that a little bit. Yeah, and then fly a very nice tight rectangular circuit. Yep. And I'm not really great at judging the turn point in this one. I think it's about now. Yeah. Okay. Especially at this height. Yeah. But if you use the... Whoa. Uh, okay, that's the mechanical turbulence yeah. past the gallon ranges. Okay. I see. Yeah. Anyway, so That was on the IRSA. Okay. <laughs> Where's the strip con shit? Uh, there it is, of course. Okay. So... I think that's about right. A little bit high. That's okay. This really feels quite fast. Because we have a tailwind now. Oh, of course, yes. So All right, there's the wind sock. Yeah, so use the wings. So I would turn now. Yep. Okay, we're going to stay at this height. Yes, please. Yeah, I can feel the wind blowing. Yeah, up. really skidding off like that direction. Skidding. But as you know, it's an illusion. Okay. Okay, so now we slightly overshoot. Yep. And I keep my eyes out for traffic. But yes, please. We've announced it, but yep. it's very quiet on the 1267. Yeah. Okay. So. To go closer, you need closer. to. Closer. Yeah. See, I'm not supposed to see it. Okay. I will go closer so I can see better. Yeah. And then don't forget to count, please. Yep. And I'm going to say our ground speed is about 90 knots. 93 at the moment. Maybe, are you at 20? A little bit like a yeah, 20. Half, okay. Yep. Is that too fast? Okay. I've got a parallax. Okay. Looks a little bit like more than 20, but... All right, 92 okay. knots at the moment. There we go. Time four three. Perfect headwind at the moment. Okay. About to there zero five. All right, so that was uh, 22 seconds. Let's go call that 11 times 90 is about 990 meters. Yeah. So I'm going uh, It's close enough. So from cheating, I yeah. know it's 915. Okay. From cheating. <laughs> Looking at the yeah, country, I understand. country I understand. airstrip guide. Yep. Okay, so uh, we will stay here until the base turn and then we'll descend. Yeah. Okay. And to wherever we feel comfortable. Okay. Okay, and you know what's coming here, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I won't. I'll do my best. And this downwind, there isn't much to do. It's really just 
crashed oh. flying, flying the aircraft. Yeah. And then, well, look, so when we are at the at the end of the runway, is at the end of the wing, then yeah. you turn because yeah. we've got a so tail, wind, yeah. just like in the Robin. Yep. Thank you. All right. I'm going to get the power back a little bit and descend. Okay, don't, don't dive. No need to dive. Not more than 500 feet per minute. Sorry. North at 4,500. Inbound for a low level inspection at ETA 2 1. It's gone traffic. Oh, that's midday gone. Okay. Good. All right. I'm still too high. But. It, no, that's fine. Okay. Stay, Call it, uh, stay there, you think? Please, yeah. All right. 3,300. All right. All right, I'm having a close so look. Now, yeah, have a good look if the grass is long or short. There's a puddle time. on the left there. Well, the grass doesn't look too long. I don't know what long grass looks like, to be honest. It's actually, no, it's looking yeah. fine. I it looks it looks pretty short, though. Cut it, and we've got a straight headwind. I think we're fine. You reckon we should do it? Yeah. All right. Okay, should I climb back up? Yes. Yes. So first, okay. yep. Yeah, I can overshoot a little bit now. Uh. And so when we take off, if we land, we want to go slightly to the left okay. after takeoff into that little valley, yeah? yeah. Right. All right. Um. Looking good. So uh, no. But look at back. Yeah. I think we're getting yeah. a bit yeah. wide. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to figure out what to do about the gear. I guess we should get them out now. Yeah. Okay. So first power. Two, three. Two, four. Two, four. Good. And just leave the mixture rich. And the gear is fine for now. I th oh, sorry. The so speed yeah, is fine for the gear. We're straight. Yep. Brakes is good. Now under carriage. Yeah. All right, gear is out, the mixture is rich. Uh, we'll turn the fuel pump on, the selection's still on right. <sighs> Canopy, looks yeah, all right, all my harness is okay. All good. We already got one stage of flap here. Yeah. So now it's a short fielder, what's our final approach? Uh, 770. 70, okay. 70. So, should probably get this power back, okay, sorry. Okay, but remember we are at 500 feet. We are at 500 feet. So it's feet. not a normal circuit. Yes. So don't descend yet. Okay, don't descend yet. I don't know with the short field, you know, we should, get, should we get the flap out? Yeah. Yep. So I need to set the third stage of flap, so now 15 inches? Uh, 15 and then third. And one third. Okay, now we're a little bit high, but that's okay. You can still manage yep. that. Yep. But now you want to turn. descend. So, and now you're, oh, now we're actually getting really high because your aim point is uh, like 20 meters before. 20 meters before. Markers, yeah. Okay, yes, right. So it should look as if we're going to land in the trees. And can you get 70 knots? I don't know. I feel like we're a bit low. Am, am I wrong? Yeah, so do, that's okay. So keep, keep it here. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, so now don't descend any further. There's a power line. A little bit more power, sorry. Hold Worried about 70. that power line. Yep. We're all right. Alrighty, and now we're 63 knots. Oh, sorry. More power. More power. More power. Okay, so now nose down. And cut the power. Oh, okay. And hold it off. Good. Very nice landing. Very nice okay. landing. Good. All right. Don't hit the... We've got a lot Plenty of space, yep. Don't stress the brakes. Ah, we didn't make a CTAF call. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Too right. busy. It's so fine. should we what, chuck a UE and make a backtracking call, or no? Yeah. Okay. Um, we this should way? always know, always turn into the circuit. If, well, if there's a big oh. pot pothole, then not. Circuit is over there. Oh, so, so you can go this way? So we turn to the right. And, and then, then around make a that UA, way. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay. So always turn into yep. the circuit. Okay, and I'm saying, jeez, uh, 
Uh, where uh, are we? Kirkwell traffic, uh, yeah. Piper Air Charlie Echo Zulu is backtracking on runway. Oh, I didn't even check. Two Let's call seven. it. Two seven, all right. Kirkwell. Kirkwell traffic, Piper Air Charlie Echo Zulu is backtracking on runway 27. Kirkwell. Very good. So now everyone knows. See plenty of space. Turn radius. That was fun. Thank yeah, you. that was good. I haven't been in Crookwell for a long time, and they did cut the grass. This is the first time totally I've fine. So ever the landed only on something unpaved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only problem there was the speed. That was yeah, we were too low. 60 knots. That was very close to stall speed. Not yeah. that the arrow has any bad stalling characteristics. But yeah. Okay. So well, short, you know, on the, field, uh, yeah. on the short field chart, it said full stall touchdown. What does that mean? Uh, well, the actually, I was surprised. At, did you hear the stall warning? I heard something. Yes, I think so. Okay, yeah. I could Maybe be wrong. I, I will see that. That's a saturation. <laughs> yeah. If you just, I know exactly what happened to these people. Did we do puff checks? <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Okay. See, no, but same here. I was so fixated. I'm so, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's fine. I, I, well, I think in retrospect, what I would have rather have done is a full, a full height circuit so that I could line it up. But I suppose yeah. the exercise is there's cloud. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. But you see how it happens. So you yeah, get no so kidding. Well, I'm glad we did our first checks. Yeah. On then at yeah. one point, all I saw was the speed. Was that? Yeah. Oh, anyway. And, I was yeah. worried about the power lines, basically. Yeah. yeah. Right, yo. So then let's talk about the takeoff. Um, so it will be a short fielder with two stages. Two of stages. Flight. Of flight. You can yep. already yep. take one down. Yep. So full power feed on brake, then we let go. And what was our rotate speed? Uh, I wrote it down. I think it was yeah. 5 7. Uh, yeah, so 5 let's 7. Make it 60. 60. 60 okay. Take off and then more or less immediately uh, the, the gear up. Okay. And uh, the attitude is really high. It's the the X, so best rate of climb. And uh, are we so best rate of climb? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah eight sorry, zero. best angle of climb. Be sorry, best X. angle is not eight, eight, eight zero knots, isn't it? Yeah, eighty. Make it eighty. Yeah. So it's really high up with the nose. Okay. And are we uh, like let's navigate the terrain, get to height, and then we can do the yeah. turn for the navigation. Yeah. So let's worry about the crosswind yeah. turn yeah. later. Okay, uh, I agree. Let's uh, listen. Oh, that was Kirkwell, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. You want to get out of here? Yeah, so you can tell them that we are lining up runway 27 okay. uh, for a crosswind departure. Okay. Kirkwell traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is lining up runway 27 for a crosswind departure. Kirkwell. We want to use all the runway, hey? All the runway, that's right, but we've got good headwind, so it's yeah, nice. It should be. But also look at the fence. So. Yeah, I got All it. All right, and you really need to turn now. I'm trying. <laughs> trying, yeah. Come on, turn. Anyway, so we will have a little bit of a diagonal, that's fine. Okay, okay sorry. So. Okay, so okay. full power against brake. Let's make sure we've still got everything on. Do a quick check, everything. Good, we've got flaps. Yep, it's two stages. Full power against power right. against brake. And so we make after takeoff uh, left that turn way. towards yeah. Okay. All right. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Full power. Okay, two seven. Got, Good. Okay, let's break. go. Yeah. We're gonna lift off at six zero. Now, here. Here up. Nose up. Nose up. Nose up. Nose up. All right, 80 knot climb. Yes. Higher with the nose. Slight turn to the left. No steep turn. Looking yep. good. No steep turn. Sorry. Not trying not to. Yep. Okay. Nose needs to be higher. So higher. Okay. Yeah. Attitude is. Yeah, that looks. That starts that's, looking that's good. That's right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now you can take uh, the. Yeah. Oh, that was just one stage of flap. Y yeah, I think it it was too before. I okay. Maybe it wasn't anyway. clicked in properly. All right. Anyway, so that's all good. Our Here, flaps are up. Power is full. Fuel pump on. Getting a little bit bumpy. And 
but just keep going straight yep. because if you make a turn no, now, I'm it's not. going to no, no, no yeah, good. be like a bucking horse. Looking good, so yeah, now you can lower the nose. Just so now it's just best right. Metacon traffic warrior function to the whiskey is at 2500 on descent to 2400 overhead the aerodrome. Uh, runway 24. Metacon traffic. So, and I would just make a wide turn around these two. Okay. Do we need to make a call about departing? Yeah, yeah. eventually, but I would first get ready. You've got your, sorry, now you need. Yep. Now I need all this. Your yep. next heading, so yep, get next. ready for that. So you can uh, Next heading them. is, excuse me, uh, 086, which I will call 085. So I'll do a wide turn around this, as you said. So, and then with the calls or all the cloud traffic, and then you will tell them that we're passing through 4,000 whatever on climb two. Actually, we're yeah, we're actually level off. Okay. So I'll just say we're departing crosswind, uh, tracking yeah. for Windsor Caribbean. Yeah, no one will know Windsor oh, Caribbean. I'll just tracking, say departing cross. Tracking east. Tracking, tracking east. east. All right. Uh, but we're not actually, that's not crosswind. Yeah, okay. It's almost, it's tracking east. Are we tracking east? Well, uh, no, okay, we're, it's, no. yeah, it's south is crosswind. Oh, yeah. So I'll say downwind. Uh, wait, the runway is 27. We're going, oh, sorry. The yeah, it's downwind. East uh, is downwind sorry, for west. Sorry, yeah. sorry, what, what is your, oh, heading? I thought it was 0 086. 080. 0 086. 0 085, yeah. But that's crosswind. Uh, anyway, you, you say whatever you want to, but say something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you got me doubting myself. All right, anyway. Yeah, it's down. I, Sorry. It is down. Hey. It is down. Yeah, me. okay. All right. Uh, are we going too fast yeah, here? Yeah. yeah, get this back first. AVA first.